Hey guys, what's up? It's Kyle from Kyle Raps here, and today we are going to be learning how to uh, <coughs> create a date picker. Um, guess it would be good if I put this in. So as you can see, here's all the code we will be needing. Not that much, but let's get straight into it. So go ahead and open up Xcode and create a new project. Make sure this is a single view application. We're going to call this date picker. Save it to the desktop for easy access. And as always, we have our code. Okay, first thing you need to do is uh, go into the .h file and open up a brace apparently as they're called and type in this UI date picker star date picker our date pick and of course the semicolon next line go ahead and write IB outlet UI label star label semicolon next line IB outlet UI text field right down there star text field semicolon now eight outside the uh, braces go ahead and type IB action Whoops, IB action. And we're going to call this button, semicolon. Next, go ahead and uh, elect uh, the at sign property, bracket, not automatic, non automatic, retain. Next, IB outlet. UI date picker date pick semicolon that's it for the dot h file let's go ahead into the dot m once you open up the dot m just under the implementation view controller here go ahead and synthesize so Synthesize the property, it's going to be date pick semicolon. Next line, IB action, just get rid of the sender there. And this one is the button. Open up the braces, and inside here, just write this. Okay, so n state star choice equals open up one bracket date pick date. Okay, now you can close that and go ahead to the next line. In here, just go ahead and write nss ns string ing star words equals open up to ns string al I don't know something like that um, close only one and write in here in it with format go ahead and find that in it format And the one we want is the, uh, whoops, yeah, that's not what I wanted, init format, with four, just 
just type this one. So in here, you want the at sign and open up two quotations. The quotations, just go ahead and write the date is next the uh, percent sign, at sign, and that's it for that. And go ahead and write comma, choice, and close, and that's done for that line. This is not incorrect. I know that for a fact. Okay, sorry about that little uh, problem there, but let's get back into it. Next, go ahead and write UI alert view. star alert equals open up to UI alert view okay close one and of course in it with title in the title we're gonna open up the at sign to quotations in here we're just gonna call this the title And the message, uh, just write words. The delegate, set this to nil. Cancel button, you want this to say dismiss. And other buttons, you can just select nil. And of course, your uh, semicolon there. Uh, next thing you want to do is type alert. Sorry, here. Alert. Show. Next one, alert. We don't need releasing anymore, but we do need this. So label dot text equals words and then next line text field that does not seem right forgot the semicolon so, and that is the end of that so just go ahead and close that. We no longer need the view I did load. So go ahead into the .xib file and connect everything up. But before we connect everything, we have to select 3.5 and we are going to change this to translucent black. Now we have to, as we stated in the .h, drag in a UI date picker, a label, and a text field, and a button. So, what we need to do here is drag in those things. So, a label. Make this extra long. Find the center there. And a text field. Make that long as well. Next, drag in a button. Then drag in your UI date picker. Put that there. And now just organize everything and go into file center, then connections. Drag date picker to date picker, label to label, text field to text field. Select button to the button and select touch up inside. Name this, choose, whoops. Choose date. Get rid of the uh, label there. And go ahead and run this in the simulator. <clears throat> 
when or if the simulator wants to load, uh, we should see our view with our label. Sorry, we should not see the label, but <clears throat> actually, we should see the label. There we go. So, we'll load. Okay, so as you can see, we have our label that is hidden here, our text field, our choose date, and I messed up. So as you can see, it says uh, the date comes up in the text field here. You can, of course, change this with the thing here. So let's go ahead and write two. I don't know. Let me just see if that will work. I have to rerun this guy. Sorry about that. So what you can do is you can select a different day, so Friday, October 26th at random times and p.m. 8.45. So just select this and it will change that to whatever you have put in. Of course we never made the label long enough, so basically you would need the label to be like that. And you can see the whole thing. So blah, 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 choose date. See? Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please check out all my other videos uh, if you need any more help. And if you have any video suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.